टाइम इज मेजर्ड इन ईयर्स डेज आवर्स मिनट्स सेकेंड्स मिली सेकेंड्स माइक्रो सेकेंड्स एंड नैनो सेकेंड्स वाई डू वी हैव सो मैनी यूनिट्स फॉर मेजरिंग टाइम इट इज ऑल ड्यू टू ड्यू टू अवर ओन कन्वीनियंस लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल the orbit of the planet neptune neptune is blue in color around the sun let me draw the sun right here this is sun the orbit of this planet neptune around the sun takes 165 earth years after 165 earth years it completes a one full circle around the sun or After one four four five four double zero hours, so which is easier to understand or use this unit of time right here? So this is why time has more than one unit. Normally we take time days in hours. in minutes then seconds to go from days to hours let's say i have two days two days equals to what 24 hours so what i just did i multiplied by 24 because in one day there are 24 hours i say there are two hours in two hours how many minutes are there 120 what did i do i multiply 2 by 60 because in one hour there are 60 minutes then i say that i worked for 1.5 minutes I ran for one point five minutes. I can only run for one one point five minutes because I don't run at all, right? So if I say that I ran for one point five minute in one point five minute, how many seconds are there? There are, I guess, ninety seconds. So I multiply one point five by sixty again because in one minute there are sixty seconds. Now if I have to go from seconds to minute, I'll divide it by sixty. using the same logic i'll divide by 60 again then divide by 24 now how time is measured the clock in your mobile phone and in your room in your home that clock basically tells you the time passed it does not tells you the time interval between the two points to measure the time interval between the two points you have to take values from that clock let's say you had lunch at 2 p 2 15 pm and you left home at 4 30 pm so the clock is telling you the time at that moment it is not telling you the interval between these two moments for the interval between these two moments you have to subtract them up this gives you 2 2 hours 15 minutes right so that is the difference between time and time interval this was time t1 this was time t2 time interval is the change from t2 to t1 in physics we are more concerned with time intervals to measure time interval we use stopwatches we don't use a clock we use stopwatches let's say i am timing the time taken by usain bolt to run 100 meters when he started when he started running i pressed this button right here when he reached this point i pressed this button again by pressing this for the first time the stop was started by pressing this for the second time the stop was stop the stop was must have stopped around this because as it takes 9.8 second for usain bolt to complete a track of 100 meters this is the analog stopwatch and to the right is a digital stopwatch now digital stopwatch is better as you don't have to actually determine the value the value is written right in front of you the accuracy of the digital stopwatch as you can see is up till 0.01 seconds and the accuracy of this is up till 0.1 second If I zoom it in, you can observe that there is a difference of 
seconds. So the least count is the accuracy. Right? And here the least count in accuracy is this, which is 0 0.01 second. 